when V1SE is connected to Wi-Fi. The high-speed transmission and more free connection bring unlimited possibilities to your V1SE. This video mainly explains how to upgrade Wi-Fi function in V1SE. Firstly, identify the device status and check whether your V1SE has upgraded with Wi-Fi function. If not, the second part of this video explains the specific operations. If your device has upgraded with Wi-Fi function, you can directly view the third part of the video, setting the Wi-Fi password, starting enjoying the Wi-Fi function 1. Confirm that the device model is V1SE. Confirm that the V1SE system version is not lower than V7.6. View the current status of V1SE. Status 1. Support upgrade to Wi-Fi version. Get a free upgrade kit from seller. Status 2. Support Wi-Fi function. Connect the Jcrep Air to set Wi-Fi password. Status 3. Build in Wi-Fi function. Connect the Jcrep Air to set Wi-Fi password. When V1SE is in status 1, users with certain manual soldering ability can get the V1SE Wi-Fi upgrade kit free from market and then upgrade the Wi-Fi function of V1SE. When V1SE is in status 3, you can directly connect the JCID platform to set the Wi-Fi password. Get Wi-Fi upgrade kit from merchants for free. Remove the V1SE adapter. Remove the battery cover. Remove the battery if it's necessary. Unscrew four screws. Disassemble the shell and take out the main control board. Remove the screen from the main control board. Short circuit pins 1 and 2 of U14. Cut the screen foam. Stick the antenna adapter. Stick the antenna adapter to the following areas. Wire jump point G to point A, point B to point B. Wire jump point 1 to pins 3 and 4, point 2 to pins 5 and 6. Reinstall the screen. Paste the FPC antenna on the upper right side of the shell. Fasten the FPC antenna terminal to the antenna base of the antenna adapter. Rotate the antenna out of the lower position of the screen, reinstall the screen. Let the antenna round, the set screw post of the V1SE. Buckle up the main control board.
Move the antenna into the groove on the edge of the V1S E shell. Finally, fasten the rear cover. Connect the USB flash disk to the computer. USB flash disk format requires FAT32. You can view the format in the properties. Confirm that the USB flash disk format is correct. Open Scrapair software. Click Download Center. Find the V1S E V3.0 file and click Download Now. Click Save and select the file saving location. Select Save to the USB flash disk and click Save. After downloading, click Open Folder and zip the file package. After unzipping, the V1S E V3.0 folder must be in the first level directory of the USB flash disk. Confirm that the V1S E V3.0 folder is in the first level directory. Then delete the V1S E V3.0 file package. Package download completed. Turn on the V1S E. Click About. Confirm that the V1S E system version is above 7.6. Connect the USB flash disk with the downloaded data package to the USB interface on the top of the V1S E. Click Update. During upgrading, keep supplying power through USB data cable. Do not cut off. Otherwise, the upgrade will fail and need to be mailed to the factory for upgrading. Click Upgrade and click OK. Do not draw out the USB flash disk during upgrading. When upgrade is complete and version number are displayed on the screen, the upgrade is completed. Click OW IT draw out the USB flash disk. V1S E data package upgrade completed. Connect the 1S, E, D, Scrapair, Enter, Repair Fitting, Interface. The 1S, E, Serial Number is automatically recognized. Click, the 1S, E, Wi-Fi Settings, Select Wi-Fi Name. Enter the Wi-Fi Password, Click, Confirm. Wi-Fi is marked with an exclamation mark, indicating no connection. Connection failure. The Wi-Fi indicator flashes, indicating that the connection is in progress, and the Wi-Fi indicator displays normally, indicating that the connection is successful.